Actually, it's snowing. We're having to fix a problem. Yeah. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, Homesteading 101. <laughs> you know, that says uh, when you make a mistake, you're going to fix it eventually. And uh, it's going to be at the most inopportune time. <laughs> Our uh, water system here at the Shao stopped holding pressure. The, the tank stopped, our pressure tank stopped holding pressure. And uh, so I checked into it. It wasn't a tank, but uh, we did a little testing. I pulled the top of the well off and looked down. <coughs> and uh, whenever, uh, whenever the tank would fill up and we got to full pressure and it, it would stop pumping, uh, I could still see way down there some agitation in the water, which tells me we had some kind of leak. So, uh, pulled the, uh, the old uh, well pipe out, and sure enough, there's a hole in it. But it's only about 20 feet down from the top of the wellhead, so ah, who knows why. But uh, anyway, we need water, so we've got to get this thing fixed to do today. So this is our well pump. We pulled it out, and, you know, I was going to pull this out uh, eventually anyway, because... I wanted to install a check valve right here above the well pump. Uh, this uh, well pump has a foot valve in it, which you know prevents backflow and will hold the house pressure. However, I thought just because I didn't want all that force on the foot pump alone that I was going to go ahead, I, I decided I would go ahead and install a um, a check valve right here anyway, and then. Here's the original poly pipe, uh, which is approved for this application, by the way, um, and the cord, you know, that operates the pump, and a strain relief rope, <clears throat> all running along here. It was about at, well, maybe 35 feet, not 20, but uh, at 35 feet, I guess, uh, we were pressuring up some water through this and we found a hole and uh that's right here somewhere looking at the hole i couldn't figure out you know why we would have a hole unless at some point this thing got kinked or something like that and uh it weakened the plastic and then eventually it you know i don't know but uh even though this black poly is approved for this well application you know, down to as far as probably 250 feet. Uh, we decided to go ahead, since we're in here fixing it, and uh, replace it. And we're going to replace it with this. This is... This is Reba. Um, this is a one-inch uh, diameter PB, uh, Schedule 80 PVC, and it's threaded. It's made for a well. These are 304 stainless steel uh, couplings that uh, screw the pipe together. Comes in 20 foot lengths. I got six of them because our well is 20 feet, but obviously I'm not going to use all that. Um, I'm going to have to cut it, oh, probably 10 feet short, one of these pieces, about 10 feet short or something like that to uh, finish it up. So. It's a sucky day to be out here doing this with the snow and stuff. It's supposed to warm up a little bit, and we're supposed to get, it's supposed to be partially sunny later on today with a high of 36. It's 32 degrees right now, and we have about a five mile per hour wind. So it's not comfortable, but it's not so bad we can't work in it. So that's what we will do.
Okay, so I verified that the pitless adapter has slid into its slot. I can now disconnect this lowering pipe. Now in. Let's, uh, before we go any further, let's uh, test this well and make sure we got water. And we are pumping water, as you can see, because it's coming out of the spigot, good, pump's working fine. Let's uh, pressure up the system and uh, make sure that it's holding pressure. And we got, we got uh, water coming through the tub. That dirt's because we kicked up a bunch of stuff in the bottom of the well. It's bringing up dirt. Looks like we're building pressure. Should kick off at about 50 pounds. Yeah, pressure's, pressure's holding pretty steady at 50 pounds. So, looks like we got her fixed.